Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimzeski here with Adam Atkinson. We left off last time talking about the importance of hydration, making sure you've got all the water that you need. As a matter of fact, you cannot overhydrate. If you don't have too much carbohydrate, if you're not spilling over, that water is going to flow through you. You're gonna urinate it out, and you're gonna be left with what you need to be very full and see that muscle density. But it's if you overcarb, even if you're dehydrated, if you're overcarbed, you could still spill over. So now you'll be super flat, which is awful, and spilling over on top of that. But the, the other interplay variables that we need to talk about, Adam, is sodium and potassium because once we've got the right amount of glycogen seated in the muscle tissue, I like the way you mentioned that last time, and we know we've got hydration levels high enough, now we've got to, or maybe not, we'll, we'll discuss it, manipulate sodium and potassium. So you as a coach, how do you manage those two variables? Yeah, so when more so we're managing sodium all through the week during the contest, so or during the week. So what I have people do is just track their sodium and track their water intake the week leading up to peak week, and then we kind of find a good shelf for where they normally eat. And what changes that is the amount of food that they eat. They're going to, if their carbs are going up, we can expect sodium to go up a little bit. So I usually provide my clients with a range that they can stay within because as the food changes, I don't want to stress them out so much where their sodium potassium is going to be so hard to hit. So I actually don't have my clients track potassium, but I look at their food sources to make sure they have something that's uh, more potassium rich in there because we don't want to have so much sodium and no potassium at all because they work together and that's going to be what really helps uh, keep, keep the body functioning well, um, keep people getting good pumps in the gym, and most importantly, keeping water in the muscle tissue as well. So. For most of the week, we have them tracked and stay within a range, usually within a 500 to a um, 800 milligram range. And then on show day, we really manage like what type of food they eat. Is it potassium rich? Also, how much of that food they eat. So we're not eating so many carbs that they spill over and get away from that morning tightness. But we also have to make sure that when they're pumping up, when they're going to check-ins, they're not doing so much activity that they're depleting glycogen that day and getting flatter as the day goes on. So the sodium and potassium is one of the main things we manage. If someone skips a meal, I might give them salt or maybe even give them additional salt to that meal. Um, one of my go-tos has always been uh, Morton Light salt because it's 50% sodium and potassium and if you can use that you can always guarantee that both of those variables are going to be on point. A lot of people will use just plain table salt which I think is fine too but I always like that extra benefit of if someone switched a meal out and I didn't know about it they're having that extra potassium from the salt and it's a it's a healthy level of potassium they're not just taking like potassium tablets like you see a lot of coaches do um, because they're getting that sodium with the potassium so it's safer than if you're just like chugging down potassium like you see a lot of people do which can cause a heart attack if you're you know cutting water or anything like that. Right, right. And, you know, I, I remember it was probably at least 15 years ago when I wrote some articles talking about using Morton's light salt because of that balance of potassium and sodium. And, and then what I found out is people were using it so sparingly, so judiciously that they almost weren't getting enough um, sodium. And so one of the reasons why sodium is so important is that's what draws water into the muscle cell. So a lot of times, if your carbohydrate levels have been okay, uh, you've got enough glycogen, more carbs the day of the show is not going to help, but just a little bit of sodium really pulls all of that water into the muscle cells and into your vascular system. So we'll talk about that, that next time a little bit more, guys, in, in the strategies that we uh, move forward with, but uh, you definitely do not want to limit your sodium. So stay with us, and we'll talk about that next time.